Quick update before we begin. The missing films from the recent VHS video were, boom, Robocop and Robocop 2. 22 of you got it correct. Well done. Hello. Welcome to our second look at the wacky world, and by wacky I mean frankly quite disturbing world, of 1970s greetings cards. Probably our final look, because I've run out now, I haven't got any more to do after this. It's <clears throat> a good reason, isn't it? Anyway, as you may remember, the 1970s was a time of terror, fear and horror, mostly as visited upon us by the greeting cards of the time. For instance, there's a six-year-old, they've got a birthday, what do they want to see more than a miserable child using his paints to colour in a picture whilst a kitten laps up the paint? He'll die later because it's toxic and then he'll be dead like this child's hopes and dreams. Yeah, seriously, that's not a good expression on the boy's face there, is it? He really cannot be asked, Or maybe he's supposed to be so incredibly captivated by the colouring in that he's uh, just totally phoned out. Just realise, it looks a bit like a young Josh Hutcherson, doesn't it? Ah, uh, you know what we can tell? If he uses the paints later to paint himself into the background in an amazing Hunger Games-style camouflage system. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, well, birthday greetings, now you're six. You're six. Look, have this card. Yeah, I know it's a bit miserable, there's a bloody kitten on it, it's good enough, isn't it? Um, who remembers these crap paints, by the way? Little bit of water on them. Rub your brush on them like that. Look like shit no matter what surface you're painted. Absolutely useless. Yeah, oh dear, I, I don't know. Such an odd picture, odd framing as well. There's going to be a lot of, well, I suppose he's got to be tall and thin, isn't it? But, you know, is it, is it cut off and zoom in a bit. I don't know. Frankly, the whole thing smacks of the photographer should have probably used another one from this session because the child looks a bit miserable. Looks like he's been left alone on his bed. That's it, isn't he? All his friends have gone and left him. Now he has nothing but the cat. For his friend whilst he colours silently in misery. Happy birthday! Right, well the lovely words inside. Hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> it's a thought that counts, isn't it? Amazing. Thanks, Waldorf. Post office preferred. Why? Why would we care? What a weird thing. Well, if you know a child who's turning six soon and you want to really piss off their parents, send them this. Alternatively, please don't. Oh well, time for more birthday greetings, but this time for an uncle. A very fun uncle, apparently. <laughs> is that the fun uncle, or is that just a man who's greeting the uncle? What the bloody hell is going on here? Right, uh, he's got his stand with his music on, except the stand looks more like a lyre or something. It looks like a musical instrument itself, so that, that's odd. OK, got some roses and some stuff. You've got... Oh, there's a lot to unpack in this, isn't there? You've got the... Um, ceiling light fitting there for him to smash when he's using his um, VR headset later. Uh, right, right. Um, how do we copy this man's style? We need elongated dark pork pie hat, um, very weird rollered back combed hair, monocle, um, terrifying looking collar that'll choke you to death through a very, very posh looking shirt. Looks like he spilt a Wall's Vionetta down it. Um, a very, very green jacket. Nice pink rose, purple waistcoat, uh, trousers from the Rupert range at CNA, apparently. And so that's Rupert the Bear, by the way. Not Rupert Everett, he wouldn't be seen dead in this. And then spats over some over a pair of winkle pickers, actually. Yeah, that's that's quite an ensemble, isn't it? <clears throat> well done. What musical instrument is he playing? <sighs> the mini didgeridoo? I can't really tell. <laughs> Looks like a flute he's made himself. Right, what are the words inside? Oh, 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 I thought we were out of words for a second. A loving wish, a greeting gay, dear uncle, be for a happy day. May every birthday bring you more of all the joys life holds in store. I presume by uh, gay they mean happy there in the traditional sense, because if not, maybe a greeting gay. They just hope a gay man runs up to you and greets you on your birthday. That'd be pretty cool, actually, wouldn't it? Right, birthday greetings, uncle. Thanks. Don't forget to uh, write from fashion prison. Anyway, more birthdays. Many happy returns, dear daughter. And dear daughter, we're so proud of you for discovering the world's least comfortable <laughs> reading position. What the hell? Oh, impaled on a bloody log. It even looks like she's um, really sort of in pain, the sort of angle she's from, with one foot in a freezing cold stream. Brilliant. Genius. Well done. What are they reading? Well, I suspect, actually, this picture is German, because they are reading Lederstrumpf. 
which is the um, well, Lederstrumpfer, I pronounce it because I don't speak any German, um, which is the translation of the Leatherstocking Tales. So, you know, the, the stories of Natty Bumpo and that. Um, a series of books. Uh, the one you will have heard of probably is Last of the Mohicans. There was a film, wasn't there? It had Daniel Day Lewis in it years ago. Um, yeah, a very odd image. There seems to be this thing in these 70s cards of your daughter's doing weird shit on this card. Enjoy. But yeah, there we are. She's wearing her crochet top and in, in partially in a stream <laughs> whilst reading the book. Don't drop the book. That's my advice to you, dear, oh dear. Right, the words. Can you spare a minute just to read this message through? Because it brings a birthday wish and happy greetings too. Have a lovely birthday. Can you spare a minute from your busy, weird positioned reading time <laughs> to read this card as well? I would jolly well hope so. Anyway, yet more birthday wishes, but this time for Nana. And look, we've smashed up a load of meat and painted it into the rough shape of a child <laughs> holding some presents oh that's like this feels like one of those kits that a child got where you can like um mold something out of plaster and then paint it badly afterwards i'm guessing that's where this came from quite why it's on a greetings card i've got a bloody clue what was the company an exclusive ilo design Exclusive, because Ilo tried to sell it to everyone else, and they told Ilo to piss off, I would imagine. Yeah, that's that's quite the image. I particularly like the way the child's eyes have been gouged out, which is brilliant. The eyeless child has brought you birthday wishes, Nana. There is the flower box and the infinity box. Be careful which you open first, for your soul is in danger. Brilliant. Oh, God, this is... Holy shit, it's just one sheet of paper that they've... Um printed on and then oh, oh great <clears throat> there are no words quite nice enough dear nana just to say sorry I've, I've got that wrong i haven't done the punctuation <clears throat> there are no words quite nice enough dear nana just to say the happiness that you are wished today and every day many happy returns yep nana's a bit hard of hearing so you've got to shout the important parts apparently <laughs> also i hate it when they hyphenized today that really annoys me well there we are nana don't forget to take this absolutely beautiful piece of art smash it to shit with a hammer and throw it in a fire before it comes to life and starts tearing your throat out right more birthday wishes bloody hell nearly all birthday cards actually happy birthday now you are nine you're old enough to dig your own grave <laughs> <laughs> this is this is quite an image isn't it <laughs> child digging channel to the ocean is that it on their birthday at the beach for reasons wearing their incredibly 1970 sandals um yeah well it's sort of a sand castle thing going on here yes they're hoping the water will come in for a moat it does kind of look like somebody's just got a gun to their head outside the frame you better dig that grave soon if not, you won't be the only one who dies. We'll go after your pet daughters too. Here's a birthday time hello to someone extra nice to know. Uh, look, this is a bloody rhyme scheme, isn't it? Along with wishes by the score for all the things you're longing for. Like a longer life as you're about to be shot in the head by the Mafia. Do enjoy. Universal greetings cards. Printed in England, yeah. I can't imagine another country ever having put this design on a bloody greetings card. Marvellous. Well, you've got yourself a hernia, but on the plus side, you've also dug a bit of sand out. Well done. Well done. Now you are nine T years old. And now, a, a little bit of a callback to my favourite design of these cards. The inexplicable dream card, where there's... Well, let's just look at it. Birthday wishes, dear daughter. There she is, look. Dressed as as a, a somebody from Little House on the Prairie. What is that? Is that? I can't tell if that's like a chiffon scarf or if it's ectoplasm. What's going on? But there is the weird dream thing where they're imagining something going on. She's sitting on a hill, but she's imagining herself at sunset w with a man on a beach or something. But she's stuck. What is this? Is this supposed to be the person who has... Is this the mother who sent the card? sitting here thinking of the daughter having fun while she sits on her own on a hillock and <laughs> looking miserable <laughs> guilt cards present think more of your mother you bastard um i just 
I, I, I mean, and is this the daughter? And she's having a, a think about what she could be doing with the son in her eye. I don't know. I, I particularly dislike the burnt image here, like some sort of. It's like the beginning of the world at war, if anybody remembers that. Oh my God! Right, the words. Greetings to our dear daughter, with lots of good wishes for a very happy birthday. Ah, oh, basic but nice words. Image, however, bloody weird. Every single one of these that has had, like this dream thing on the top, has been weird as hell. Unlike this completely normal, many happy returns, dear brother card. I presume the child is making this noise. Oh! I don't know why. Um, I was going to say just excited for posting a card, but no, because that that thing on this, I believe that is a stamp machine that you used to get attached to some post boxes. Put a coin in and, you know, your stamps come out. Has, has the child put the coin in? It doesn't look tall enough to reach the coin slot. Is the child literally just grabbing onto the dispenser bit and... What is happening? Why, why is card... I don't know. <laughs> this is getting more inexplicable as they're going on. Bloody hell, it's a card shop in the background. You should have gone over there, mate, bought a fucking better one and just... Oh, never mind. Right. <clears throat> Birthdays are such special days. I'm hoping yours will be bright and merry, just the very best that there can be. Now, that is a crazy exclamation mark. Look at that. It's a, a bloody um, insane angle and huge. Well, there we are. So if your brother is very young and excited by stamp dispensers. This is still a card you shouldn't get him because it's still bloody horrible. Right. <clears throat> Best wishes, dear grandson. Best wishes for you pulling ladies at the beach. <laughs> oh dear. There's, there's a joke here about the size of the surfboard. We're not going to do it. Um, this is really odd, isn't it? Like this very sort of stereotypical... Um, surfing scene from sort of the, the 70s America, I suppose. Is this an American card, actually? That's a good question. No, designed and made in England. Post office preferred. Um, okay, then. Is, is the image from over, from America? Is, is that right? Or have they made this locally and staged it or something? On the one day of the year we had sun? I've got no bloody idea. Tell you what, though. Not the best reproduction of the picture. Look at all the noise on that. Hmm. Right, what is the exciting poem of death? Here's wishing you, grandson, a day that's the best, and more birthday good cheer than you've ever possessed. So what they're getting at, or trying to get at at least, is I hope this is your best birthday ever, but it kind of sounds like they're saying all your birthdays up to here have been shit. Try and have a good one for once. Um, <laughs> there we are, with his giant carrot he too can ride the waves. Oh wait, it's a surfboard. Okay, I understand now. Right. <clears throat> Birthday greetings. Two today. Two whole greetings. Oh wait, two years. And it's teddy bear sunbathing. Yep, on a bit of grass near a quite obviously fake beach made out of a bit of sand. Now here's the thing. Weird framing. What's this thing that's coming in? You can't see what it is. Ah, wait for it. Wrap around panorama. <laughs> Hey, look at that. You've got another weird teddy bear stroke dog hybrid riding a donkey, another donkey, some sand castles, pink teddy bear and this dead bear laid out on a stretcher for the plague bearer to come and take away to the barrow later. Um, yeah, it's, it, these ones with sort of weird toy imagery on are some of the oddest, I think. And I said, I said, I this sort of thing only occurred in a very short period of time in the 1970s that they think it was a good idea to stage toys in such a manner. And this, my friends, is a perfect example from Celebration Cards Limited. I certainly celebrated when their company closed down. Aren't they lovely sand pies for a birthday treat? OK, I mean, you can't eat them, they're made of sand. Flags are flying for you. Flowers at your feet. Make a happy birthday perfectly complete. I'm pretty sure who, whatever two-year-old got this didn't have flags flying for them. Was this for a member of the royal family or something? I don't know. Tell you what I do know, though. This next one is my least favourite card ever to have physically existed in the universe. <clears throat> Open this and you'll find out what I'm going to give you for Father's Day. Right. Right, let's attempt to process this. Open this and you'll find out what I'm going to give you for Father's Day. So, the implication is, 
that there is a sexy lady who's going to give Father something for Father's Day. So I think we have to assume this is being given to Father by a male child. Because if this is given being given by a girl, that's, that's very... Uh, that, that's way out already. Um, maybe Dad just really likes straw hats. So, the implication here is... Oh, hey, hey, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, Dad. I'm giving you this card and it's, it's all a bit... It's all a bit... Um, I'm saying a bit. It's incredibly scummy, really, isn't it? I can't quite get my head around this. Also, did they just give up drawing a foot? It looks like a toe's melting. Anyway... What's inside? Congratulations! You just broke the world record for ugly typefaces. No, for greeting card opening. Congratulations, you just broke the world record for greeting card opening. I think you've missed a word out here. Surely it should say congratulations, you just broke the world record for quickest or fastest greeting card opening. Because just on its own, that sounds like you've just broken the world record for opening the most amount of cards or something. Whereas the implication, surely the joke is, Dad sees it and goes, oh, there, there'll be a naked lady picture inside. Oh, there wasn't. It was all a hilarious jape. Except it's not a hilarious jape, is it? It's creepy, weird shit. Fuck off back to the 70s and burn. Which also my response to many DJs. Right. <clears throat> Birthday wishes, dear daughter. <laughs> It's not haunted. <laughs> it is totally haunted, isn't it? Um, so somebody's got their pencil crayons out and created this um, egg-headed monstrosity. Um, I mean, I think they knew what a human looked like, but they weren't particularly interested in recreating it in any real fashion. RMH. Hmm. It's one thing I do like about this. I do like to imagine RMH having drawn this picture and just sent it off to a card manufacturer, and the card manufacturer's gone, yep, here's some money. And they've gone, oh, wow, and then went to the shops and saw their own image that they had drawn on a card. So they probably ripped them off, because you know what these companies are like. Yeah, you heard me, Waldorf, again. Hope this doesn't still exist. Don't come after me, Waldorf. It was all a joke. To a dear daughter with loving thoughts and best wishes for a happy birthday. Also, really bugs me that that's not quite in the middle of the uh, card there, but that's not relevant. Why is she wearing round her neck? I feel it may be a salad. Salad neck. The news. <laughs> it's a really bad slasher movie that you just see on Amazon Prime. Salad neck. She's killed again. Ah, if she thought she was creepy. Check out these Junji Ito ass motherfuckers. Yeah, um. <laughs> no eyes. No, no idea. Yeah, are they going for that sort of big eye look that was that thing in the 70s? Uh, Tim Byrne made a film about it, didn't he? With Christoph Waltz in it, if I recall. Um, right, well, um, is it a wedding card? Is it a... Oh, best wishes on your anniversary. I'm guessing an anniversary card, then. That's really... Oh, it's like they've gone for a slightly different Japanese style, maybe? I don't know. I don't think they're human. Look how big their heads must be under the hair. Like giant swollen craniums, probably full of egg sacs or something. Yeah, these aren't human. They're going to kill you. Uh, and that's fairly obvious. I imagine she's got like a Melina from Mortal Kombat style thing going on under that fa um, fan there with like massive fangs coming out of a torn mouth. Um, and also they've got really spindly... I, I'm, I'm not... I, it's enough. That's enough. Enough 70s cards. <laughs> with moratorium on 70s cards. I'll try and find some cool 80s ones with BMXs on at some point so we can uh, use that as a palate cleanser, but that may take me several years, so uh, don't hold your breath. Well, Craggy, that'll do on a permanent basis. Go back to the 70s, uh, and if you do, don't place loads of bets on, like, uh, sports events that you know the um, outcome to and get loads of money. Just go back and destroy all the greetings cards. I feel, overall, that will have a more positive effect on your life. Subscribe for more.